farted. Did you fart? I did not fart. I did not fart either. That was you. I didn't fart. Hi guys, welcome to your new vlog. Hi guys. <laughs> In this series, we're going to explore the enchanting region of East Java, Indonesia. But first, let's take a look at the map to find out exactly where this is. Just barely below the equator in Southeast Asia, you'll find the island of Java. And fun fact, this is the most populated island in the world with over 140 million people. That's about half the population of the United States, but look at that size difference. Anyway, for this series, we're going to be focusing on the region of East Java. So last night we took a flight from Bali to where are we now, Pema? We're in Surabaya in East Java. Yeah, so our plan this week is to adventure around East Java. There are apparently some really beautiful places to explore around here. Some volcanoes, some epic waterfalls. So we're really excited to take you around and what do we get? We got a rental car. Yeah. It's a really nice rental car. So we have the convenience of our own vehicle this week so we don't have to rely on public transportation. And our goal with this video is to show you some tips and tricks about how to travel around East Java. Hopefully we'll learn a lot and we can share all the information we learn about this area and how to travel with you. So let's get ready for an epic adventure. <laughs> How good is your Indonesian? <laughs> Zero percent. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him, give him some money. Is there anyone here? Fudge muffins. Why do you keep doing this? There's no one here. You keep doing this. There's no one at any of these things. How do we drive on this road if there's no one here? I don't know what to do. Okay, I think you're gonna have to go out and get a person to help us again. What part? <laughs> Can I pay you? Literally every single toll on this highway. I don't think that all of them have like um, just tickets they give you. I think almost all of these are just card oh, ones. Card. We do not have a card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What the heck? There's another one. Another toll. At least there's people here. Okay. After two toll roads, we were finally told by an attendant that we needed to get an e-toll card. So we're heading to Alphamart right now. We're exiting the tollway and we actually have to pay another toll to get off the road. Funny enough. Oh, maybe it's just a ticket here. Hello? Hello? No card. No card. I need to go to uh, Mart. Alpha Mart? I, I have no card. Can I pay? Yes, I answer. Cash. Yes. Cash? How much? This is the first toll road we've come up to where there's actually attendants in the lane that we've <laughs> actually stopped in. <laughs> 50,000. 50,000. No way. <laughs> Five. Five? And then we go get the car? 20, 20,000. Oh, come on. It's not 20,000. It's, it's not that it's much. It's not that much. Yeah? Yeah, because I have so much. It's all my money forever. We know for a fact it's not 20,000. It's about 4,000 per total. We can do this. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000? Yeah, 2,000. 20, 20. 20,000. What the hell? No, I'll give you 10,000. I'll give you two fives. In the. No, no. Two fives. Here, 10. Two, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, that's horrible. 20. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. We paid like 10 times how much we should have to drive on these tolls. Because I pull up to the toll and I have a wad of cash in my hand and I tried to pay him like 4k which is the equivalent to like, I don't know, 50 cents. I mean it really wasn't that much money but it's just the principle behind it that we were, uh, we, were we had to bribe the guy to get off the highway. It's very, especially on the highway when we had to go through tolls, it's a very stressful situation to not be able to have the toll gate lift up when there's cars behind you that are honking and very mad because you can't just go through. Oh man, we are such ignorant foreigners. All right, we're trying to get directions or just information about if we even need a card on the road we're about to go on. There you go. <laughs> Three, four, Boom. Super lucky that math is the same in every language. Thank you. Thank you. Got a toll card, guys. Hopefully this works. Wow. Moment of truth. Do you think this is gonna work? <laughs> yes, Let's test please. this out. Woo! Here we go, baby. Come on, toll road. Let this oh work, please. What is going on? Touch this here and we lift it up. Oh! Yeah! Baby, we are allowed to drive on these oh toll roads. We couldn't have done that any more Woo. annoying. 
So we finally got back onto the toll road. We're on the toll, we have a toll card. So the first, what should have been about five minutes of our journey took two hours. Cause that's the, that's the kind of people we are. So if you want to drive on the toll road, first of all, if you don't want to drive on the toll road, easy fix to that. Go on Google Maps or whatever maps you're using and go to the settings and click avoid tolls. But we didn't do that. So we got on the toll road thinking we could just pay, but you can't pay with cash. You need one of these bad boys right here and you can get these at any of the local marts like Indomart or Alpha Mart. Alpha Mart. Yeah. And you can load it there. So we just got it. Now we are allowed to drive on these toll roads and hopefully we have enough to make it to our destination. Steve, what's happening? We have drove maybe three and a half minutes and apparently this toll road is closed. So now we have to get off and go on the road that's not a toll. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we spent so much time and energy. Oh, and we just paid for the toll card, which by the way, it costs 25,000 just for the card and we topped up with 100,000 worth of tolls. But it looks like we're not even going to be needing it now cuz we're getting off the toll road. <laughs> Well, as you can see, our road trip was off to a great start. Funny enough, that was the only toll road we encountered on the entire trip, so we never used the rest of the funds on that card. But on the bright side, we finally made it out of Surabaya and drove all the way to the region of Lumajung. The reason we wanted to come to this area is for a unique waterfall, but we'll show you more of that later. After a very long and stressful drive, we're now relaxing in our tent. I can just smell the mosquito bites. <laughs> You're bringing a uh, blanket? 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 No. No. Oh. Do you have a blanket? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah? <laughs> Can we please have Thank a blanket? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe a pillow. Pema booked this last minute on the drive up here. We're not going to be planning much out in advance. We don't have any accommodations set up for this entire week. Probably just going to either show up in a town or just try to find something on along the, way. along the way yeah so that's what we did today we found this place I don't even know what it's called dear traveler glamping hub it's 10 p.m. right now time for bed yeah we're gonna wake up nice and early cuz you hear those frogs is that frog I think those I think are frogs frog. I think those are multiple There's frogs wild animals out here anyway we're gonna wake up before sunrise we're gonna try to leave here by 5 30 so you want to wake up at 5 that's a long time to get ready, Steve. I'm just gonna need to like brush my teeth and put my contacts. I wanna like be there at 5.30. Of course we'll be there at 5.30. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so gonna, what's the place called? Me. What's the place called we're going to? Tempuxewu. Tempuxewu. Korban Sewu. Yeah, pretty epic place. So excited to bring you there. But for now, we're gonna go to sleep. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Of yeah, <laughs> not quite. So our plan was to wake up before sunrise, as we mentioned last night, and go to Tempaxewu, but we didn't do that. Pema wasn't feeling too well. I'm sorry. So it's okay. We, uh, we're having breakfast right now, and we're planning on going to some other waterfalls. There are some other epic places around here, so we're gonna do that and just delay our plans a little bit. So we're probably gonna stay here again tonight and then go try to do the sunrise mission tomorrow morning. Sound good? Mm -hmm. So a very popular fruit here in Indonesia is what they call snake fruit. It's one of my favorite fruits in the world. I tried it last year when I was in Bali for the first time. And it looks really weird. I've never seen them growing before. And apparently right here they have a bunch of snake fruit plants. So we're gonna pick some right off of the plant and eat it right now. That's them right there. Look at that. Cool. Woo! They call it snake fruit because it looks just like snake skin. When you crack it open, this is what's inside. It's kind of hard, but mmm, so delicious. There's usually three pieces inside, and the biggest piece is a pit in it. It's sweet. Not a very strong flavor, but it's just so good. I can't really compare it to anything. If you come to Indonesia, 
You definitely gotta find some snake fruit. I mean, they sell it everywhere you can find fruit, you can find it. Hmm, so good. Or you can come to a little snake fruit forest like this and get some for yourself. After munching on some snake fruit, the owner of our guest house mentioned he runs an adventure tour company. So instead of visiting some waterfalls, we decided to go rafting and they brought us to this river in a gorgeous mountainous valley. <laughs> Alright guys, we got our helmets, we got our life jackets, we are ready for some rafting adventures. And we're gonna switch over to the GoPro now. Rafting adventures and some watermelon. Pema, what just happened? I just casually fell out of the raft. <laughs> it's funny because in the beginning we were going kind of slow and then the water started picking up. We were going a little bit faster. And we come to this one spot in the river where there's a rock right in the middle of the river. And we actually weren't going that fast. So we come up to the rock. Honestly, I, I wasn't even filming on my GoPro because I didn't even think it was going to be anything exciting. But we hit the rock, and Pema's sitting in the front, and the boat tips. Pema falls out of the raft. And in my head, like I thought the, the entire yeah, raft tipped over. over. I thought because I knew the raft was on top of me, and it took me a second to realize I was getting pushed, like swept with the current with the raft on top of me. And like, like in those few seconds, like I realized that oh shit, like this is how people drown. Like the raft is on top of me, and I'm like running out of air. And I'm looking, and maybe. Five seconds goes by, which is a long time to be in a situation like that, and she didn't come up out of the water yet, so I start freaking out. I jump in the water, and it turns out she was under the boat, so I grab her, I pull her up, and we couldn't even get back in the boat. The water's rushing. Honestly, in the moment, it was it felt slow motion, so intense. Gladly, we're all okay, besides some maybe bruises and scrapes on the legs, but adrenaline's still pumping, so we don't feel that yet. <laughs> in one hand, she had the paddle, and the other hand, she had the GoPro, and then when she comes back up, She's only holding the paddle, which is the thing that floats. It's okay. GoPro's replaceable. You are not. All right, after an exciting raft adventure, we came to a local place to get some noodle soup. So we're gonna enjoy this. We also have some coffee. Coffee in Indonesia is some of the best coffee in the world. Delicious. Coming from a guy who spent three months in Colombia. Shh, don't tell Colombians I said that. <laughs> okay. All right, after having some food, we're now gonna go catch sunset at the viewpoint the guys are gonna show us. It should be really dope because they're locals and they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We just made it to our sunset oh, viewpoint. Wow, this honestly, it doesn't even look real what I'm looking at right now. This looks like someone painted something majestic in front of me. I have to pee so bad, but when I come back, I'm gonna appreciate the hell out of this. <laughs> wow. Look at it! Look at this! Holy!
guys, that is Mount Sumeru at sunset, right there. I, you probably did not need me to point that out, but that's pretty freaking cool. Is that not awesome? Okay, we're climbing up to the top of the hill, passing some very loud goats, which, by the way, I love goats. I wish I could play. Oh my, oh my god! You're a goat. Look at you, goat. Look at this goat just doing his goat thing. What up, goat? Look, more goats. Oh my god, look, he's getting closer to me. You're so cute. Oh my god, your, hair, your ears are so freaky. Look, little goats. Little goats doing little goat things. Ah! We're going deep up this coffee farm. Ouch. Oh, I think somebody lives here. Is this someone's house? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Mongo. Ah, it's a goat house. Ah! What up, goat? More goats. So many goats here. Bye, mountain goats. Ah! Bye. Ah! We're just gonna sit here, enjoy the rest of this beautiful view, the sunset, and we'll see you back at our homestay. And that is where we were staying last night, but we just upgraded to a private room. Pema, give me a room tour. So this is our beautiful bed. Uh, and over here we have the bathroom with a cool bamboo shower. Check that out. Whoa. And a little toilet. And a toilet. No ceiling. No ceiling. But a fence. But a fence. <laughs> we have our own tree. Right? Ooh, look at that. Japanese oh, cherry, cherry blossom. And it feels lovely. We're gonna try to get to sleep really early. So we're gonna see you bright and early tomorrow morning for an epic sunrise Ten mission. Pixo part two. Yeah, hopefully we actually make it. We're, we're gonna make it up tomorrow morning. No excuses. We're doing it. Yeah, we and I think there's also some more waterfalls. So look forward to a waterfall day tomorrow. Let's do it.